Is there a time of day to exercise that is best for building muscle? Yes, there is. How about burning fat? Is there an optimal time and a way to do that? Indeed there is. Can our muscles impact the sugars or the glucose levels in our body? Yes, they can. If you are a diabetic or pre-diabetic, you're gonna to wanna to listen to that. So let's get to it. Let's talk about these things. People exercise for different reasons. Some want to increase their strength and the size of their muscles. Some do it for mental health benefits and that endorphin high and improve cardiovascular health. And some do it to lose weight and burn fat. Whatever the reason we exercise, we all want to optimize the benefits. Why wouldn't we? We are working hard and we want the most rewards for that work. So how do we get the best results and the most rewards? So let's start with, is there an optimal time to work out? As I mentioned, there is. We all have what we call sleep-wake cycles. Animals have them, insects have clocks. Virtually everything on the planet has a 24-hour timer, referred to as a circadian rhythm. These clocks exist in every cell of our body, with the brain clock being in charge. A good example of this, we've all been jet lagged before. When we go to different time zones, we've got our brain clock in one time zone, maybe our gut and liver in another time zone, etc. Our body systems are not in alignment. We feel groggy and foggy. Our muscle cells also have a clock, an independent clock, a 24-hour timer. Our cells have periods of time when they are metabolically active, producing and utilizing glucose efficiently, and times when they are at rest, cells are repairing and regenerating. You don't want to be running and lifting weights when you're in the repair and restoration stage, right? There's quite a lot of data demonstrating that humans are stronger in the afternoon. Research looked at grip strength and leg strength. The results were very consistent. Men and women are stronger in the afternoon. Some researchers believe it has to do with mitochondrial capacity, which has been shown to be the greatest in the afternoon. So ideally, you would exercise when you are the strongest, right? When you are stronger, you can do more. You lift heavier weight. When you lift heavier weight, you tear more muscle fibers. Tear more muscle fibers, you get more muscle repair and muscle growth and strength. If you like this kind of information, do me a favor, like and subscribe. It helps me to know I'm helping and that I'm putting out stuff you wanna hear about. That would be greatly appreciated. One really cool thing we need to understand because I work out in the morning, 6 a.m. ish, our muscle clocks adapt and become ready to exercise at the time we consistently exercise. They become primed and ready. And when we create these consistent exercise patterns, even though our brain clock remains on its same time pattern. Next important question. Do our muscles play a big role in blood sugar control? Yes, they do. Interesting, 80% of the sugar you store in your body is in skeletal muscle. Did you hear me? 80% of the sugar. So of course the pancreas plays a big role too, but muscles are a big player in this network that keeps you metabolically healthy. Muscles help to play a role in the management of blood sugar. Healthy muscle is part of the equation to have a healthy metabolism and healthy blood sugar management. Maintenance of muscle strength is an extremely important aspect of aging, being able to get up and out of the chair, breathing and coughing, a few things we take for granted. Say food goes down the wrong pipe. It takes your respiratory muscles working hard to cough it up. If you're unable to do that, you have what's called aspiration, and this is often how fa a fatal pneumonia can develop. So let's talk about one result I think we all want from exercise, fat oxidation or burning fat. We break down fat into glycerol and fatty acids through a process called lipolysis, and we do this because we need energy. The process occurs primarily in the mitochondria of the cells and is an important part of our metabolism. So how can we get the most benefit or burn the most amount of fat when we exercise? Exercise in a fasted state. Exercising in a fasted state burns more fat. This is what the research says, a meta-analysis which is the gold standard in terms of evidence reviewed 27 different randomized control trials and found that there was a significant increase in fat oxidation during exercise performed in a, fat, in a fasted state compared to the fed state. Carbs and fat are the most important sources of fuel during exercise. When we eat carbs before exercise, our body has a readily available fuel source. The review showed that those in a fed state had significantly less circulating fatty acids in the bloodstream than those who fasted before exercise. And this is the major reason why. Insulin plays a crucial role. 
When we eat carbs, the pancreas dumps insulin. Insulin promotes lipid synthesis and storage. It reduces free fatty acids in the plasma and inhibits catabolism, breaking down of lipids and fatty acid oxidation. Insulin is the most important hormone that inhibits or stops lipolysis and fat breakdown and promotes triglyceride storage. Long story short, we eat foods that dump insulin, we ain't burning fat we're storing it. On the other hand, in a fasted state, free circulating insulin is not present and a fuel source is needed. So the body turns to lipolysis, breaking down a fat as the mechanism for energy production. The amount of time to fast is still in question. I see some really interesting research pointing to eating for about eight to nine hours a day. So if fat loss is your main goal, the jury is back. Exercise in a fasted state. There's also some research coming out now that points to the body's ability to retain lean muscle mass better when doing weight resistance exercises in a fasted state. Really cool stuff, so look out for more research on that. Although much more research is needed, there is much more research coming. I will be sure to update you as it comes. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy hearing about this type of information. Nurse Chris out.